There are over 100 billion stars in our galaxy, but only one is known to have created the conditions for life. And for those of us who live under its gaze, it has long been the most mythic, the most violent, the most nurturing, the most central object in our universe. Without it, we simply wouldn't be here. And now we know more than we ever did about how it lives and how it will die. It is, of course, our sun. Since the dawn of civilization, the sun's immense power has been both worshipped and feared. And even today, we remain captivated by this mesmerizing star. Markedly darker now, it's properly twilight now. This is, by the way, 1.30 in the afternoon in Texas. Oh! It's brought life and light to our planet. The sun is behind all of this. It's keeping everything on our planet alive. And without it, there would be nothing. But our sun is also a gigantic, powerful and unpredictable nuclear reactor. We expect more storms, more activity, more flares. Ready to strike at any moment. This is the still wow. from just after the flares. Right, this happened today? This happened today. The sun is 93 million miles away from the Earth. Oh, my God. OK, I wasn't expecting that. Yet we depend on it for our very lives. The more sunlight people have, the longer they live, even if there is a risk of skin cancer. Wow. Mm -hmm. As we move in towards the center, it goes from being almost the coldest place in the universe to being how hot in there? Around about 150 million degrees Celsius. It really is an adventure that I think is one of the greatest achievements of humanity. The star in the center of our solar system gives us everything. But one day, it's going to destroy us all. So you can imagine what the Earth is going to look like at the end. That's astonishing. 